Alright. Oh, um, okay, I need to heal up the command ships. Uh, all. Carrier holds. Iron wall, just in case. And here I've got banjo on support defense if I need it, so that works. Yeah, that's not gonna do you much good. I, I think the thing I like the most about this build I've got on Asuka for uh, items is because it gives her, because at the start of each turn, it completely refills her energy and ammo, it is utterly broken. It basically allows Asuka to be the ace that she is described as being and then aspires to be in the show. Is... Is the unstoppable juggernaut. Like, I'm pretty sure, since I set up that build, uh, she has not taken a scratch of damage. All right, now the main enemy ship is closing in. Okay. All right, damage control is doing its job there. Um, you're, you're recharging okay. Let's finish you off. And Huck and Bean with the Black Hole Cannon will drop you. Uh, 
All right. We haven't used micro missiles in a very long time. Give it one last hurrah. Yeah, but look at Asuka. Energy's fully back. Ammo's fully back. Happens every turn. It is great. As far as this game is concerned, no one is ready for Asuka. Yes, that's a that's a wrestling reference, by the way. Alright. I like this. I mean, if we don't have a bunch of, ans of ancillary units just hanging around from lingering from this fight... All right, first shot against all fours. Just as active, 100% hit chance. So we should be good there. Let's go. I've seen all the data on that machine too. Everything about it, down the LS that controls it, was ultimately born of Gardam. Is that your way of saying I should hand over Nying into the Vang, Vang next to you? We've been through this several times. The answer is no. She doesn't want to hang out. She doesn't want to be to join you. We don't want her to. I don't want her to join you. It doesn't matter what, what I want in terms of nine. She's her own person. She doesn't want to join you. I don't want to hang over the Vang next to you. Neither does she. So how about you go take a flying leap in a black hole? I can't see that it's all that valuable, but it is rather irritating to think that I'm through your ways making use of a product of our system. Therefore, destroy that unit along with its pilot. That's what I thought. You're so typical of Gardim. Well, I'm not going to let you treat the Earth or Nine or Vang next, however you please. Nine and Shitose are just so tired of having of these stupid Gardim sea lions her all the time. I think we can safely say yeah, hashtag yes all garden. Yeah, maybe it's something more than Gardam technology, huh? You thought about that, huh? I am really glad I have Persist active right now. Even another robot! Oh, I am really glad I have Persist active. That would have really hurt. Uh, just be safe when you counterattack later. Um, your persist is still active here.
Oh, I was about to do something. I forgot to do something. I get yes, I can get you in range. Nice! Alright, dig it. So here's my question. Some of these enemies are very aware of the EVA units and what they are capable of when they run into them. In particular, EVA Unit 1 and EVA Unit 13. Going down, man. Oh, oh. oh I to activate uh, defensive power. Hopefully, I did. I think that's the kill animation. Yep. Okay, we look like we're in a good spot for when the final enemy drops in. The levels. What is this? Some kind of nightmare? If, if I fall here, the reception of Garden will be doomed. In what your android said, Alphors. You do not know the true terror of facing Gardem's 8th fleet. Nobody likes a sore loser, Alphors. Are you simply capable of understanding? It's so basic. Like any fleet, this one is made up of many ships. What? And every I have everything I need to open up a time hole. No, he tends to summon his entire fleet. Now come to me. I call upon the last survivors of Gardem, the 8th fleet. So that's the 8th fleet. I'd about to fight against numbers like that. 
What choice do we have? We've got to save the Earth. Yeah, I seem to finally understood your situation. Now, elite vanguard of Gardam, destroy these Terrons and secure our new home. Why do you not obey my commands? It's only natural. As I said, it is only natural. You worthless android, where did you get on my ship? Artem's 8th fleet is already under my command. What? I traveled through the past via the time hall, first time hole and wiped out the crew of every ship. Broken down piece of trash. All functions now cease. You little mechanical doll. Truly, the people of Gardem do not deserve to live. The ancient people of Gardem are unfit for the recreation of the super civilization. Correction, they are found to be an active threat to it. What are you all going on about? What are you? I am that which was made for rebuilding Gardem. I am System Neven Lina. Uh oh. What is going on here? What's happening aboard the enemy flagship? No! Stop! Please! Alforce Rome Halharis. You have take, I've already taken a sample of your gene. You yourself are no longer necessary. Hey, what are you all doing to my bar school? I'm going to use this ship. It will become the body of System Devin Lena. No! What is that thing? Another one of Gardem's mechs? I do not like this. What's wrong, Nine? I believe that is Nevin Lena. Wait, what? Isn't that the system used to rebuild Gardem civilization? That is correct. What's that? Some kind of android? I am Nevin Lena. I am the system that was designed to rebuild Gardem civilization. But how are you going to do that? You've killed all the humans you were meant to serve. So do you... Do even you not understand? What? First, let me ask you a question. Why is it Gardem fell? Well, because they lost the war against Iskandar, right? Ah, you are a gambling woman. That is just the advance I would expect out of a follower of Iskandar. Or is it that you've been so undone by these earthlings you've given up thinking for yourself? What? You mean this thing knows about us? Of course. My slaves have made contact with you several times already. So those mass-produced agents were all its slaves? These were all accent points for Nev and Lena? And most importantly of all, I have the data gathered by Slave 2044. You mean 9, don't you? Exactly. That's how I've learned how wonderful you Earthling humans are. What's that supposed to mean? Doji Murakumo is one of my sample Earthlings you who helped give me a direction. Huh? I have recreated examples of, of people of Garden based on data I had on hand. Soldiers, commanders, admirals, etc. You mean ghoulies and the others, don't you? I observe these recreations found them all to be active threats to my mission, and even the original I summoned was the same. So, what's your point? In other words, I've reached the conclusion that the people of Gardem were doomed to fall. The real reason for their demise, true reason for their size was no external foe or self-natural dis disaster, but self-destruction from within. What? From people of civilization that advanced and they destroyed themselves. There was no freedom in the highly regulated so societal structure of Gardem. Marriage, birth, education, one's role in society, Every aspect of life was determined on the basis of rationality and efficiency. That sounds familiar. It's like Chairman Durandal's destiny plan. The impression of living within such a regulated society with a deep, silent rage as it, even as it robbed them of their ability to action. When it reached the limit, the destruction of Gardem, the so-called super-civilization, began. The societal structure broke down. Order and moderation were lost. Those lacking the strength to live died, and those who were lost in rage destroyed themselves and others. Those who lived and stowed with their right minds left the large Magellanic Cloud, along with me, System Nevelina, and arrived in the Milky Way galaxy. And eventually you reached Earth. Survivors of Gardem survived despite conflict and sought to assimilate with people of Earth at the time. And as a result, they dragged into and destroyed other destroyed by the battle within humanity humanity, which had caused greater radiation of the wild, and the mechanical beings of Olympus. In the battle between Embryo and the Mycenae, having lost my masters, I began work for my existence. Struck reconstructing super civilization Garden. I took as the model of the being of the who had wiped out the last of Garden's descendants, Embryo, and I followed him. What? That may well have been the worst possible choice. Wait, if you went after Embryo, what would that mean? If I'd come to our world, the AD dimension. Yes, I followed Embryo to the AD dimension, 
and as a result, approximately 10 years ago, that is where I arrived. Though I am a product of Gardem, Birch assumes that a large, uh, vague target apparently lacks certainty. A large gap in time was the result. But there I discovered one of the keys to the reconstruction of Gardem. The bosun jump! Exactly. If I could make use of that time leap, it would be possible to summon someone from Long Ruined Gardem. I sought out the space-time controlling technology of Iskandar and slave 2044, who was with the humans. But for that reason, I opened the door to the NCC dimension. Rather, for that reason, yeah. And the, but in doing so, I made the mistake of dragging in two humans of the AD dimension. That's not me, experimenting with quantum jump. However, the encounter of Earthlings from two different dimensions un ultimately yielded more fascinating data. Then, when all my preparations were complete, I succeeded in forming that time hole. But you actively killed the people of Gardam you were supposed to protect. The Fleet was really made up of the last survivors of Gardam, and you brought about the end of that civilization yourself. There is no consequence. My genetic sampling of the people of Gardam is complete. What? It was a gamble for me as well. If there had been any among the Eighth Fleet worthy to live under my control, I would have protected them, could have rebuilt Gardam together. But all of them simply looked down on others and insisted on forcing their civilization upon them. In other words, they were active threats to my mission. Well, that's not hard to deny. Um, I gave enemies to fight. I wanted to test you and see if you were truly the ideal being in the hope that you were. So that's the truth behind these odd bosun jumps. You won every battle. You even defeated Gardam's 8th fleet. That is why I've decided to learn from you wonderful humans and create a new race of Gardam. Then when the Earth has been reborn, I will create there a new super-civilization Gardam. So it all comes down to that after all. Devin Lena, just think us through one more time. If you accept that humans we humans are wonderful, then we ought to be able to coexist. I am System Nevin Lena, a system dedicated to the reconstruction of the Gardam civilization. I think that mission is the sole mission, the sole reason for my existence. Haven't you learned anything? My slaves are already control of the Eighth Fleet, and that's not all. Oh shit! This is the power that is to defend the new Gardam. All these civilizations shall prostrate themselves before these Arcadias. Nevin Lena is piloting every one of them. I am a system. My existence is unlimited and infinite. I am the perfect fusion of humanity with a machine. In other words, I am a new type of life form. Under my command, the new Garden will conquer all of space and rule it as a true super civilization. Just a short span of time, she used the resources of the Slim Varsa to create the entire enemy force. That's a death I expect out of your mom, Nine. She's immensely powerful. Of course, the dimensional horizon is rapidly expanding. It's probably due to that time hole. No, that must not be allowed to continue. What's happening? Space itself is warping. So hopefully if we game over here, this is a new check counts as a new checkpoint. And we start over from this point. The Earths. This is awful. The dimensional accelerations distortion between each Earth are accelerating. What does that mean? The three Earths are starting to fuse. How much time do we have left? Five minutes! Any longer and the Earth will be past saving! This is my estimate as well. In five more minutes, all your fighting will end in vain. Shut up! No time to talk to you right now! All units and all vessels! Our enemy is System Nevin Lena! We have to defeat all those units and end this! And we have to save the Earth! No longer use the Cosmo Reverse System. The battle, Sonata. That comes first. Yes, sir. We're all against a bunch of family mobile suits. If we hit them with all Earthfleet tank who has, we can do this! A foolish of you to judge a book by its cover. Determine this size to be the optimal balance between agility, mobility, and firepower. These Arcadias are the product of a new civilization. They past even the super civilization. Soon you will discover what that means. Also, I am one who is in control of them, and I am a being that surpassed even you, wonderful human. I can feel a strong sense of purpose and resolve. Alright, maybe you have surpassed us. But maybe we'll just have to accept that. But that doesn't mean we're about to give up and admit defeat. That's right, we're going to win this fight and save the Earth. That's, that's our battle. All us members of Earthfleet Tenku. Attack me as you are, Earthlings. I will defeat you, wonderful as you are, and build a new civilization of Garden. That is the answer I have found in order to complete my mission and rebuild Super Civilization Garden. Devin Lena, you don't have to do this. The last five minutes are all the time your Earthly civilization has before its demise. Win in five turns. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like sub and subscribe. And click the little bell button to be notified whenever new episodes show up on my channel. If you really like the show, please consider backing it on Patreon. 
backers will get their name in the credits, and at higher levels, you get episodes up to one week early, and at even higher levels, you can select what games that I do for my future Let's Plays. You can find my Patreon at patreon.com slash count zero O-R. <laughs>